So I'm back at it again, y'all, at um, another Walmart location. I got an order for a curbside pickup, paying twenty fifty five. It is seven thirty eight now. Um, it has to be delivered, I believe, by let's see here, by eight thirty. So I can start this trip at seven forty five to eight forty five, roughly twenty dollars and fifty five cents. So not bad. So. Like I said, I got here a little early. I can't start my um, pickup time until 7.45. From my previous experience doing Walt, I mean Walmart Spark, you have to um, be at the actual location so they can ding your GPS and then you can start your um, shift or your you know, pickup. But I like curbside, I really do. These people have a lot of items. Now, last time I could show y'all what I used um, to carry the groceries, okay? Let me show you what I used. So these are the bags that I used for um, lunch drop-off, but that's about how much groceries people be having. So it just helps out when people live in apartments and I have to tote this stuff up, you know, up a flight of stairs. So these are bags are pretty big, y'all, pretty big. But this is what I use for lunch drop-off. So the way I plan my day is I work Walmart Spark, hopefully I can make like $20, $30, $40 on Walmart Spark. And then I go do um, I go do lunch drop-off at like 10.45, 11-ish. And then I go back home and I do live ops. And then if I dial you is dialing, for which we were dialing yesterday, I'll jump on I dial you and finish out my evening. So that's pretty much how my day is. Um, I will take a full day off and do housework like my laundry, um, my laundry, vacuuming, dusting really, really good and things like that. Um, clean up my bedroom, straighten up my bedroom. And also, let me show you something else. I always carry my notary bag because I may get a, point, a call for a notary appointment when I'm out in the field. So I always carry my notary bag. Ooh, I just had to take a call, y'all. I got some very discouraging um, information about my son's school. Um, I'm about to go do some research about it. He just called and told me that St. Augustine lost accreditation, so he may not get to graduate with a degree. Since he started at school, he's been having the most issues from day one. Um, it's the HBCU, and just my experience, I don't have anything nice to say about it. Um, but anyway, I'm here trying to make the best out of my day. That's life. Life be life in y'all. Like, life be life in, for real. Don't give up. Stay encouraged. I'm going to stay encouraging my son as well.